In this video, I want to show you how you can back up your macOS files and system settings with Time Machine. You need an external storage. Here I inserted a 32GB USB key in my macOS computer. You can use also an external hard drive or even a network attached storage. So if you don't see the USB key when you insert it, it means it needs initialization. So click on Go. Click on Utilities, double-click Disk Utility, and careful, this step that I will show you here will completely erase the USB key. So make sure you don't need the information that are on the USB key in case there are any. So click the USB key. As you see here, it says Uninitialized. When you select it, click on Erase. And here you can name it whatever you want. I just want to name it USB. And then the format is macOS Extended Journaled. And then just click on Erase. It will be initialized. It will take seconds. And as you see, it is initialized now. So now it's ready to be used as a backup device for Time Machine. It is here. Let me close this now. And let's go now to System Preferences to set up Time Machine. Click on the Apple. Select System Preferences, and then here, click Time Machine. When you click Time Machine, if you had an older disk, it will show here. So here I had an older disk. I'm going to change it. So click on Select Disk to make sure you select the new USB key. And this is it here. So I'm going to click on it, and then click Use Disk. So now it is here selected as a backup device. And as you notice, backup automatically is selected already. So keep it selected. This way, Time Machine will make hourly backups of all your settings and of all your files. To force the backup to run now, make sure you select Show Time Machine in menu bar, and then Close Time Machine Setup. And here you see it in the menu bar. Just click on it and choose Backup Now. Now, let me show you how you can restore using Time Machine. You have the option to restore a file, a folder, or a complete system restore. Let me start by showing you how to restore a file. So this is a folder on my desktop. If I double-click it, and let me delete this Apple photo, And let me empty the trash. And let's say I want to restore this apple here. We need to start Time Machine. You need to click on the Finder, Applications, and then double click Time Machine. And here you have Time Machine. As you see now, if I go onto the desktop, I don't have the Apple photo because this is the situation of the Mac right now. So if I go back a little bit to the previous backup, you see, I see the Apple photo here. If I click on it to select it, and then I click on Restore, it will be restored to my work folder, as you see. And the same goes for a folder if you delete it. So let me show you how if I delete this folder completely, how can I restore it? I'm going to start Time Machine now by clicking on the Time Machine icon here, and then clicking Enter Time Machine. And here you see the desktop is empty. So let me go back. And you see that my work appeared here in the previous backup. Let me click on it, and then click on Restore. And you see my work folder was restored here. To perform a complete system restore, you need to restart your Mac, and while it is restarting, just before the Apple shows, press and hold the Command and R keys on your keyboard to go into the Utilities screen of the Mac where you can restore your system. So here I'm pressing and holding Command plus R keys. 
And as you'll see, it goes to the Mac OS recovery screen. And you'll be presented with many options. The option that is of interest to us is Restore from Time Machine Backup. So click on it and press Continue. And then here, click Continue. This is simply an informational message. So it will find the Time Machine Backup. You need to select it and then press Continue. When you press Continue, you'll see a list of all the backups that were taken of the system. So choose the one you want and perform a restore. Here, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to fully restore this Mac computer. That was it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.